Uh, hello, Mr. Prime Minister. It's ABC Australia. I'm wondering if you can explain the hundreds of millions of dollars in your account. In Najib Razak's Malaysia, where rivals were jailed and critics vanished, this was a dangerous pursuit. What are you, what are you, what are you trying to do? No, I'm, it's just a press conference. No, 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 no. Stay in my way. What are you? What are you? What are you trying to do? Just ABC. How times have changed. It's finally safe to question the former Prime Minister about the biggest corruption scandal in the nation's history, one MDB. He borrowed about four separate tranches of money that added up to roughly six billion dollars and um, then diverted that money away from the um, ostensible purposes for which they, the bonds had been issued um, into frolic and fun, actually. Um, simple. One MDB was a government fund that was supposed to make savvy investments for the Malaysian people. Instead, numerous investigations alleged that all One MDB did was make the Prime Minister and his friends very, very rich. Billions of dollars were spent on party boats, mansions, paintings by Van Gogh, Monet and Picasso, gambling weekends in Vegas, and perhaps most bizarrely of all, a movie about excess and greed. My name is Jordan Belfort. The year I turned 26, I made $49 million. Which... Compared to what was being done with the 1MDB cash, The Wolf of Wall Street was a depiction of astute money management. We're here to solve systematic problems. The man accused of being the chief money launderer was a family friend of the Prime Minister, Malaysian billionaire Joe Lowe. He styled himself as a selfless young philanthropist. That's something that I believe I want to be a part of in achieving uh, in terms of making cancer history. I believe it's possible. The reality was a little different. A US Department of Justice investigation alleges that Joe Lowe washed the money stolen by the Prime Minister and skimmed off vast amounts for himself and his celebrity mates. Even Las Vegas was left astonished at the scale of the lavishness of these parties. You know, they'd have their birthday parties, they'd drag in Britney to sing happy birthday like Marilyn Monroe. There's even an Australian angle. Joe Lowe spent around five and a half million dollars of 1MDB money on diamond jewellery given to model Miranda Kerr. All the necklaces and earrings were engraved with her initials. Amazing, Joe Lowe was squiring this beautiful woman. And, um, you know, it was always a bit of a, a, you know, a figure of amusement, really, that this, um, you know, rather unprepossessing um, guy um, seemed to get the most glorious girlfriends. During a meticulously planned 2014 getaway with Kerr aboard his super yacht, Joe Lowe gave the gal from Gunnedah a two and a half million dollar necklace and earring set. Oh, and the $330 million yacht Equanimity, that was also bought with 1MDB money. The most extraordinary thing about this scandal isn't the jewellery or the paintings or the party boat. It's that a large chunk of the proceeds of this corruption, almost a billion dollars, was deposited directly into the personal bank account of the Prime Minister. The man who ran the country from here was so sure he was untouchable he couldn't be bothered trying to hide what he was doing. What arrogance. The handful of people who tried to blow the whistle on the scandal paid a big price. Khairuddin Hassan was a member of Najib's own political party when he first spoke out about the 1MDB scandal. I have to do it for my country. I have to do it to 32 million Malaysian, which were being cheated by the most corrupted prime minister that we ever had. Authorities in Malaysia weren't interested in investigating the scandal, so Kai Rudin went to overseas law enforcement bodies. I flew to Switzerland, I flew to United Kingdom, but on my way to FBI in New York, I was arrested and, and, and charged under Anti-Terrorism Act, that is SOSMA Act. And I was jailed for about two months. He was put in the same prison as jailed opposition figure Anwar Ibrahim, 
the man who has now been freed and pardoned and is expected to become Malaysia's next Prime Minister. For Kai Rudin, it was like being jailed with Nelson Mandela. I enjoy my life in prison. I always thank Najib Tun Razak for, for putting me there for two months, you know. Journalist Claire Rucastle brown broke many of the initial stories about one MDB. They were like angry, wounded tigers. Um, and, you know, they turned on me, yes. They, they, they thought that um, the best solution to sorting me out was, you know, to squash me, um, destroy me, obliterate me. Um, and, and she was forced to leave Malaysia, but Najib's supporters and their lawyers went after her in the UK. I have bills of hundreds of thousands of pounds to my own lawyers that need to be dealt with at the moment, yeah. Shortly after Najib lost power in Malaysia's elections, Claire Rucastle brown returned to a transformed nation. It's really been fantastic and incredibly hopeful. I mean, I think, you know, Malaysia, if they, they've shown they can unite, the leaders showed that they could put aside smaller differences in order to fight this greater evil. There is a reckoning coming. Charges against Najib are inevitable. Cash totalling $30 million has already been recovered from his properties. Police have confiscated jewellery and handbags worth millions of dollars. And he's being questioned regularly by the nation's anti-corruption commission. The accused money launderer, global party boy Joe Lo, is in hiding. Joe Lo is the most wanted man in Malaysia today. We are waiting for him to account for what he did. If there's one man who knows how this whole thing works, it's Joe Lowe. Now that the shoe is on the other foot, those targeted by Najib display a restraint that was never shown to them. You know, we are not like them. We never interfere into the rules of law. You know, the separation of power now is very clear between the judiciary and, and, and the executive. And it's been brilliant. Not one person has been hurt in this massive, massive revolution that's taken place. There's been no bloodshed, but they are after the criminals. And of course, Najib is the most prominent. <laughs>